Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September, uh, August 27 to September 2nd, 2018 and um, before we go to the Tarot reading first in case you do wish uh, to have a personal reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video and as well as the summary is near its end, there is a summer end um, sale which is adding a, a 10 minutes on top of the 30 minutes uh, service. So um, let me now finish my shuffling and um, now as we are going to cut the cards, let's see what you do have for your week here Sagittarius. Now the first card is going to represent the topic for you for the week. Second card is about the uh, core of the situation. Third card here that we do have is about the challenges you have to face. And the last one represents the guidance that it is best for you to follow. Now. <clears throat> For your week we do have the world card and the world card is about completion, everybody knows it is about completion and it is about you know putting your things um, settled and you know in general <clears throat> reaching a uh, an end of an important cycle of development. But this card is also about liberation, it is also about being free from um, past difficulties, from past predicaments, you know, from past disagreements as well. Because the world card, especially as a topic of the week for you, Sagittarius, is, says that one life cycle or cycle in your life, excuse me, ends this week and another one starts. So you need to know that for the duration of this week, as you will complete something very important for yourself, also a, a new perspective will emerge very soon afterwards. And the world card, it is very positive when it comes to completion, because in some cases it may point to, you know, pregnancy, if this is your aim, you know, this is very important cycle in your life to get pregnant and the world card points that you will have completion into that particular um, undertaking here or you are searching the job of your life or the, your calling here the world card would represent that you're gonna find it etc etc but the bottom line here with that card is that it, it is about a, a lesson you need to learn here Sagittarius that uh, a life doesn't end what one goal is achieved, it is just changed. And a different, bigger and a higher goal needs to be placed in front of oneself so the life can continue, uh, can continue and you can continue on growing when it comes. Now, a very important here is to uh, face the world or kind of like every single event that is going on for you for the duration of the week open and that is displayed here with the veil that it is falling off the body of the girl the veil represents secrecy, surreptitiousness, uh, hidden agendas and in general you know all these um, all these properties that one or one situation has which are hidden for us and as it is falling down it kind of symbolizes that we need to face the world uh, pure you know uh, with candor so the world can give us the best possible opportunity for us to grow furthermore and the core of the situation or why you are reaching completion here it is the temperance card and you have finally found your way through because the temperance in your case here represents the middle part the right part the prey a part depraved from uh, ferociousness from from aggression you know and as well from lack of activity this is the path that one finds which part bring, um, leads them to their higher goal or rather the to the destination that they were meant to. Now this is displayed here as the path leads to the crown and <clears throat> probably through a lot of wobbling here, through a lot of experimentation, you know, a lot of drastic measures. In this week you will finally find your place into your relationship or into your career or into your social circle. Now the temperance card points that you will find out that the chores uh, 
undertaken until this very moment are chores no longer because you are going to see Sagittarius that those chores are imperative to be taken on if you want to reach that cycle of development and that will no longer be a chore but a goal for you all right <clears throat> And that's why you are going to place yourself exactly into that middle road. Not to mention that you will that you will become much more humbled for other people's standpoints and position here because you will know how you alone fit in the grand scheme of things and nothing can change that. The difficulties that you have to face, however, I'm wondering what that is going to be now. We have the chariot card and that is a, a too hasty jump into the newness now. <clears throat> What we said about being humbled and being in tune with what is going on around you, the chariot card as you will have that opening after finalizing that cycle of development, the symbolize the very swift preparation before you can make actually the next jump moving on forward. But the chariot card in your case, Sagittarius, symbolizes the very harsh and a very um, in uncalculative uh, break with the past, very swift, hasty, and uh, how can I place it, even stupid in some cases, break with the past, straving toward that new direction of yours, and the more hasty you make the break, and swift, the more difficult is going to be for you to capitalize on whatever new direction is coming in your way. The Chariot card is a card of a tremendous effort when it comes to um, <clears throat> when it comes to guidance and when it comes to final outcome it symbolizes triumph but when it comes to predicaments as it is, fall, it is falling into that place it does speaks that you need to have patience iron will and determination and when you obtain those qualities for yourself then it is the time when you charge on forward because many people say that the chariot is um, you know kinda associated with action but if you can observe the card, the bees that are driving the chariot, they are kind of like laying down. They aren't in motion, if you can observe that. They, they don't kind of like, you know, drive the chariot. It is kind of the chariot is sitting into one place, not to mention that the, the, the chariot itself looks like a, a solid chunk of, of rock, a solid slab of rock, and it is incapable to be moved on forward. This symbolizes the extreme effort those beasts need to do. And as they are black and white, that means the differences into their um, into their means and into their um, convictions as well. So that's why you ha you need to have an iron wheel and to prepare them for the jump on forward. So with that particular sense, there are many other, you know, <clears throat> symbols in the card, but these are the symbols we're looking on right now. And before, that's why before you actually make any, any moves forward, which is going to be the challenge for you guys, you have to arm yourself with the iron wheel so you need to overcome the differences in the beast that are driving the chariot and as well you need to kind of determine yourself that that chariot needs to move on forward which can be achieved only by you placing the right goal in front of yourself and the right agenda as well you know and support it with the right convictions behind it and so we do go to the next card which represents the um <clears throat> the guidance for you and that will be the full card and everybody knows that the full card represents the new beginning but this is only if we are, we are having it as the final outcome or as the topic of the week in this particular case for you this card asks you to be more carefree to be more uh, not adaptable but uh, with a sense of indulging with a sense of knack for life you know you don't have to be serious all the time you don't have to take everything personal here uh, especially when it comes to the fool into that particular place and having the uh, the positive qualities of the temperance these couple of cards tells you that Sagittarius is this week it is imperative week it is a very potent week for you to create for yourself a, a very valuable connections which are going to help you move that chariot 
striving forward. Those connections will open you a lot of doors for you to exert your capabilities, you know, to show what you are capable of. But that could be, um, these connections can be obtained only if you kind of show your presence in front of the world. And that could happen only through the carefree behavior, the um, absence of fear to share your ideas if you want to say it that way to share your dreams and to uh, kind of act a little bit immature but in the same time supported the, your actions are supported by candor we said that the candor is something you need to have here so you can embrace that new direction which the world itself the universe itself it is given for you it is yours to take but if you kind of try to squeeze it when way too tightly as the chariot kind of uh, presumes you are going to break it that's why you need to be more gentle you need to be more playful and as well you need to be more open-minded because the appearance of the world of the fool here with with a um conjunction of the world there uh, in these couple of positions speaks that everything is possible um, Sagittarius is only if you can believe it and only if you have the patience here and the determination to find the best approach possible displayed here with the uh, temperance so I, I, a very important week for you guys a very uh, kind of like demanding week here to set straight uh, your life and to take a control upon it as well for what I can see with these cards uh, a week that is going to truly make a difference for you for the rest of the year or maybe for your lifetime as well we, it is um, it is yet to be seen how it's going to um, kind of manifest in every single one of your Sagittarius. But definitely it's a week that you need to uh, give everything that you have to capitalize on here. Now, shuffling the Lenormand, car the Lenormand, uh, the Lenormand cards and um, let's see what event is uh, waiting for you for the duration of the week. Now, you need to know that the Lenormands are very personal cards and as they are very personal cards um, that event may kind of do don't have the uh, same impact to every single one of you and it may be so negligible that um, some of you doesn't notice it at all and uh, these cards um, here, the Lenormand, we do have the fish, the cross, and the uh, and the star card, and uh, it does look like that you Sagittarius will be able to uh, sustain yourself financially. You are going to be able to find a way to. Um, <clears throat> reprioritize your resources and to spread them in a such a way that you will be able to kind of like face all of your expenses this is what these cards are pointing now we, you do we do have the, the the cross which points to a suffering here the fish that points to financial resources and the star which points to a guidance so the financial resources which were rather tight recently we'll, uh, we'll find a guidance how to improve because the star is always about guidance of improvement so that could be if you have been jobless recently you know you may find a job from which you can start on building here which is something that these cards as well were speaking of all right um, <clears throat> Or if you were losing money recently, if you are on the stock trade, for example, now you may make the um, the right investments which are going to give you the financial boost you require to continue on your business, etc., etc. Now these cards are, are speaking here that the recent financial uh, despondency is going to be uh, brought to an end by you finding a new way to increase your monetary success. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading given to you by Rad and um, I hope that you have enjoyed it and you liked it. Now again, in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.